Hello, my name is Kelly Workington, and I'm a plumbing instructor at the Red Deer School of Trades and Technologies. And today, we're going to learn how to convert cubic inches into cubic feet. Through your apprenticeship process in the piping trades, you will be required to know how to convert cubic feet into cubic inches, and also cubic inches back into cubic feet. With the help of a simple 3D presentation, we will show you how to do this conversion, why it works, and even some common mistakes that are made while doing it. First, let's build a simple virtual box. It'll be one foot wide by one foot high by one foot deep. And because all sides are equal, we can call this a cube. So we have one cubic block. Now let's calculate the volume of this box. To calculate the volume of a box is a simple equation. Length times width times height. Now in this case, depth times width times height will get you the same answer. So our box is one foot by one foot by one foot. So our math is simple. One times one times one equals a box with a volume of one cubic foot. It is very important to note the increment foot cubed or foot to the power of three. What that three means is we're working with a three dimensional object. The only time you can calculate the volume of an object is when that object is in fact three dimensional. Say we had a two-dimensional square drawn on a piece of paper, we could calculate the area, but that would be feet to the power of two, or foot squared. Very different. Now I have a one cubic foot box. What this doesn't tell me though is how many cubic inches are actually contained within it. In order to understand this, we need to understand that there's 12 inches in each foot. So let's go and take my box here and put these new dimensions on it. So I'll have a box that is now 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. Now let's do the math on this. Now remember, to calculate the volume of a box is length times width times height. So my width is 12 inches, my height is 12 inches, and my length or depth is 12 inches. So 12 times 12 times 12 equals 1,728 cubic inches per each cubic foot. 1,728 cubic inches in one cubic foot? That seems like quite a lot. But let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here is a one cubic inch block. It's a block that measures one inch by one inch by one inch. Put it right beside our one cubic foot block. That's the one that measured one foot by one foot by one foot, or 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. Notice the size difference. It's quite significant. Now let's consider two scale boxes that I've placed side by each. One is one cubic foot in volume. The other is 1,728 cubic inches in volume. Notice how they are exactly the same size. Now let's take that box that has all the cubic inches in it and let's pull it apart layer by layer so we can see how many cubic inches are actually in there. Notice that there's 12 cubic inch layers in this box. Now I'm going to pause the animation right when we get to the last layer here so we can see how many cubic inches we have on that bottom layer. So if we took the time to actually count the cubic inches on the bottom layer, we'd find out there's 144 of them. Now remember, we're 12 layers high though. So 144 times 12 equals our magic number, 1,728 cubic inches per cubic foot. So now we've established that there is in fact 1,728 cubic inches in one cubic foot. The next question is, how do I use it? Well, it's a simple conversion factor. So let's go through a simple example. I have an object that has a volume of 10 cubic feet. All I need to do is take my 10 cubic feet and multiply it by my special number, 1,728 cubic inches per cubic foot. Feel free to pause the video and type that into your calculator. The answer I got was 17,280 cubic inches. Now let's go the other way with this. I have an object that's 5,184 cubic inches. And I want to find out how many cubic feet there are. All I need to do is take my 5,184 cubic inches and divide it by 1,728 cubic inches per cubic foot. Please pause the video right now and punch these numbers into your calculator. The answer I got was 3 cubic feet. 
So 5,184 cubic inches equals three cubic feet. Now it is very important that you do your math the correct way. When you go from cubic feet to cubic inches, you need to multiply by 1,728. When you want to go from cubic inches to cubic feet, you need to go the other way. You need to divide that number by 1,728. If you go the wrong way, you will get the wrong answer. And now let's talk about the two most common mistakes made while making this conversion. They both involve multiplying the cubic footage by the wrong number. 12 and 144 are the most common wrong numbers chosen for this conversion. You cannot use those numbers to make this conversion. The only number you can use is 1,728. So let's recap. There is 1,728 cubic inches in each cubic foot. In order to turn cubic feet into cubic inches, we need to take our cubic foot and multiply it by 1,728 cubic inches per cubic foot. In order to convert cubic inches into cubic feet, we need to take our cubic inches and divide it by 1,728 cubic inches per cubic foot. Now it may take some time for some of you to remember this number, but remember there's a really easy way to figure it out. Draw a little cube and put in its dimensions 12 inches high by 12 inches long by 12 inches wide and then multiply those three numbers together 12 times 12 times 12 and when you hit equal on your calculator guess which number is going to pop up 1728 cubic inches per cubic foot well i really hope you liked this video and i hope it helped if so please feel free to hit the like button or subscribe this video is to be the first of many, and if you have any good suggestions of different topics that I should be covering, please leave me a note in the comments section below. I do take your comments seriously.